Hello and welcome to the fourth lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the SELECT command. To activate the SELECT tool, we could click on this icon over here or press SPACE on keyboard to activate the SELECT command. In order to select anything inside of SketchUp, you just need to left click on that object. We could click on face, group, component, or align. As you can see, when I click and then click second time, this will deselect the previous line and will select the last line that we clicked on. What if we want to add to the selection? We could use control and as you can see, there will be a plus sign on the right of the cursor. And now it indicates that you can add to the selection. So what if we want to deselect any object that is selected? We could use control plus shift, and this will show a minus sign on the right of the cursor. And now you can click to deselect any of these selected objects. And if we hold shift, this will show a plus and a minus sign on the right of the cursor, which will add and remove selected objects. So now we want to select this face and all the surrounding edges. We can click once and then hold control and then click on each line that is surrounding this face. But this is very time consuming. So SketchUp has created an option for us. And now we can double click on this face and this will select the face and all the surrounding edges. What if we have a 3D model? And if we want to select the whole 3D model, we could double click on each face or we could triple click to select the entire model. What if we want to select everything that is in this viewport? We could press Ctrl plus A and this will select everything that is in our model. And what if we want to deselect everything that is inside of SketchUp? We could press Ctrl plus T and this will deselect everything that is inside of SketchUp. It doesn't matter if we have selected only a few objects, we could press Ctrl T and this will deselect everything. There is also another way that we can select inside of SketchUp. This is by creating a region or a rectangle of selection. So when I click from left, and drag it to the right, this will create a rectangle or a region and whichever object that is inside this region will be selected. And as you can guess, only three lines can be selected in this region. This is these three lines. I'll do that again. You can see that only these three lines are completely in that region. What if we create a region from right to left? This will select anything that touches this region. So as you can guess, it will select four lines in this selection, in this region. It just needs to touch only a bit of that object and this will select all that object. Or we could select a face and the line surrounding it. The triple click that we mentioned in the 3D model can also be used for 2D objects. If we want to select all the connected edges, we could triple click on any of these lines and this will select everything that is connected. What if we connect this line to an edge of this face. 
And if we triple click on this, this will select not only these connected edges, but this will select also this face, which is connected by a line. What if we connect this line, these lines to a group or a component? And we triple click, this will not select a group or a component. And this is very important inside of SketchUp. In order to not glue anything to any object, you need to make that face or edges a group or a component. So this will not select the model that you have created once you triple click on something. So this concludes the fourth lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.